Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be cooking one of my favorite lunch from my own meal plan, which is available on my Instagram page on my bio. We are gonna be cooking the green goddess. I just got back from the supermarket because I needed a few things, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my coat off and then I'm gonna break down what is the green goddess. The green goddess is a nutritionist option for those aiming to cut or boost their protein intake. You are gonna need balsamic vinaigrette, broccoli, red pepper slice, low-fat cheddar cheese, and chicken breast. If you're new to watching my videos, I am a personal trainer as well as a nutritionist. I also create personal plan. What I do is I will calculate the person's ATP, REE, and discuss what is their goal. Are they trying to shred or bulk? First thing you're gonna do is chop up your broccoli. The reason why I chose broccoli as my goddess green is because broccoli is essential nutrient. It includes vitamin C and K as well as potassium. These nutrients play an important role in your immune function, blood clotting, and overall health. Broccoli is high in protein, which is why I always recommend it for individuals looking to increase protein intake, incorporating a variety of protein sources, including vegetables like broccoli. This is the overall protein consummation. Also, broccoli is packed with antioxidant such as sulfine and cortisine which have been associated with various health benefits including inflammation and protecting against chronic disease broccoli is also low in calories making it great for anyone who's trying to maintain or lose weight is high in fiber which also gives you a feeling of fullness and finally the real reason why i added broccoli is because most of my clients always talk about digestive problems and broccoli supports digestive health. The fiber in broccoli aids the digestive and promotes a healthy gut. This can help you with a better nutrient absorption and overall digestive well-being. I'm gonna write everything I just said in a short list on the screen so you could go ahead and take notes and just know why am I eating this. It's good to know how much you're eating, why are you eating what you're eating, and what do you do with that type of food? I usually always eat broccoli when I want to use that fuel when I am tired and I have a long day because I know it's going to keep me full and give me the energy that I need. Now we're going to move on to our chicken. When it comes to seasoning, I put my own seasoning, but feel free to add your own preference. Low sodium seasoning, such as Mr. Dash or Mr. O, it's really up to your taste. If you do want to add sazon, go ahead. If you do want to add adobo, go ahead i don't tell my clients what to put when it comes to seasoning that is just by choice the only tip that i am gonna say is season both sides of the chicken breast and for the obvious reasons as everybody knows i chose chicken because chicken is an excellent source of protein now it's time to cook our chicken you're gonna place your fire at medium and you're gonna go ahead and use olive oil if you don't have olive oil you could use vegetable oil just not corn oil the only reason why i don't like corn oil is because it's high in omega-6 fatty acid which creates inflammation your girl is hungry so she's gonna go ahead and drink her protein shake because i need something on the stomach now it's time to boil or steam your broccoli So while my water is boiling, I'm checking on my chicken. I like my chicken brown, and I'm just going to do some push-up, trying to make time go by. And heads up, I do save extra broccoli for soup, a snack in the side, white sizes pieces, a yogurt-based chip. There's so many snacks and just things you could do with broccoli, even a dressing. I'm that type of person that I cannot just do nothing. So I'm just moving my chicken around. But this is the perfect color for me. I really like my chicken to look almost yellowish. I did add a little bit of sazon. So feel free to if you choose to. Once your water has boiled, you could go ahead and add your broccoli. I could see the steam coming out of mine. So I went ahead and added all my broccoli. And I just can't wait because I don't know what it is, but I love the smell of broccoli. I know it sounds weird, but I actually enjoy that smell. <laughs> now it's time to cut up your chicken depending on how thin 
or fat you like your chicken. I actually don't mind my chicken being cut. Honestly, if it was not for the video, I would just add the chicken like that. But everybody is different. So cut the chicken based on how you like your plate to look. So once everything is done, place your cooked broccoli in the bottom of your plate. Add the chicken slide on the top of the broccoli. Then add your red peppers. And finally, add a little bit of your low fat cheddar cheese on top. And let the cheese melt. Sizzle the balsamic vinaigrette dressing over the entire dish and enjoy. Mm -hmm. 